Complete disrespect is what bothers me. I know they're trying to do their job. One day my stepson and I were down here. Um, he is uh, half Hispanic. Uh, um, and we were coming down to look at the river. Before the limb fell, you could drive right up in here. I guess you still can. It's about, oh, you could get much deeper in. In the summertime, it'll be 15 or 20 degrees cooler up under one of these big trees. Uh, so me and my stepson was walking down here, heading to the river to check it out. And there was a border patrol truck backed in here. The guy was asleep, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and, uh, and we startled him, he jumps, you know? Now these guys are fully armed uh, uh, with automatic weapons. He jumps and he gets out of his truck and he's, he's do you speak English? I said, I do, uh, but I don't know about this guy here. I'm picking on my stepson. He's ready to whoop me, you know, and uh, so he's on to him now. He wants to know if he can speak English and such, but it was kind of funny. He said, do you know where you're at? I said, I, I do. I know exactly where I'm at. Do you know where you're at? He said, I'm sitting on a red hot international crossing. I said, you're in my backyard and you're taking a nap. That's what you're doing, man. <laughs> so I walked him around and showed him some of the poles and, and just tried to get him to respect the sacredness of the ground.